How I knew for sure he is the one, Kingdom Marriage. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Um, today I'm up and personal. <laughs> I'm sharing my kingdom, uh, kingdom spouse journey, how it all began. This is the beginning. Um, growing up, I've always heard, you know, in the church, um, of how the brothers would speak like, well, so-and-so said that he was shown this particular lady and that's how he knows she's the one. I've never really been sure what to think of it, what to make of it. But the attitude of the church that time was that some of the, the guys were just uh, making it up. Some were just using that to further their own agendas. And that was the attitude that ended up adopting myself. To the point where I actually thought that it's actually mumbo jumbo. I thought, okay, it's not real. This is this is nonsense. These people are lying on the Lord. Okay. Two decades later, I find myself divorced. And I just I'm not big on social media, but I just happened to decide to just check on YouTube. And I decided to check out YouTube. I was, I was starting to listen to more to watch more and more uh, of youtube okay and I, I i was developing a liking to it it was back in 2020 so your girl had time okay so that's the i believe it's actually no coincidence the lord knew that it was the time okay now i was on my own spiritual journey and the kingdom marriage thing just became a part of it okay um, so now I started to, to, I, I one day just came across a video of one particular lady speaking on kingdom spouse and I didn't know what to make of it. And I kept on, you know how it is with YouTube, you'll be searching on one thing and then the other, the other similar videos will be, will be shown on your searches. And I'm thinking to myself, Hmm. This is real, isn't it? And I started to listen to more and more of these videos and I started looking for testimonies of people and I was starting to be convinced. And then I wondered, but growing up, it was the brothers that actually uh, got dreams, visions and stuff. How is it that now it's the women that are getting the visions? But it, it, it just led me to think. And I asked myself, if the Lord can speak to the brothers, surely he can also speak to the women. And I was like, yeah, that's true. Um, that's how the journey began. And I started to follow up on testimonies of couples whom the Lord brought together. I was following up on the love story, on the love journey, and it built faith within me. And I started to believe. And... It was then that I decided, it was in late 2020, when I decided like, when I decided that, you know what, I believe and I'm going to, to pray. I'm going to make a prayer. And I decided to pray. And I told the Lord, like, Father, as it is, there's this heated debate in the church about marriage and remarrying. As it is, I don't even know which side I fall on. And I don't want to choose because of what I want. You know, I want to stay in your will. I want to stay in your purpose. You know, let me know what, what's your take on this. And if you have called me to marriage, let me know who my kingdom spouse is. Is my ex-husband my kingdom spouse? Or is he not? Will you now reveal to me who my kingdom spouse is? Now, when I heard, when I, when I, when I prayed that dream, oh wow, when I prayed that prayer, I actually gave the Lord like a three months allowance to answer me. You know, it was, it was just in my heart, like, Lord, may you have mercy on me and at least answer me, answer my prayer in at least three months. Okay. I didn't say it out loud though. I just said, just let me know. But the time frame I was looking at was three months. So your girl was not in a hurry. Um, so in about two to three weeks, I had a dream. I had a very significant dream. Um, this is one of uh, end time dreams that the Lord gave me where I saw myself do the work for the Lord. And it was in this dream that my, my kingdom spouse first appeared. We'll call him Q. 
Um, in the middle of the dream, Q appeared. I spoke to him. And after speaking to him, I addressed him to the people as a friend. I said, this is a friend. This is someone I grew up with. Okay. And then I woke up. This was one of the special and very significant dreams. I wrote it down. And I remember thinking, what is Q doing in my dream? Like, what was the significance of him being there? I mean, he just appeared to talk to me. Like, this is an end time dream. Like, your girl, you know, your girl was working for the Lord, was winning souls. But what is, what? Okay. And I remember, I asked myself, actually, even in the morning when I woke up, I'm like, Q, what are you doing in my dream? What are you doing in my dream? It's been over two decades, two decades, just over two decades. Why would I dream him now? It just didn't make sense. Mm -mm. Uh, well, I had to write his name down because he was in the dream. I just wrote he was there and, you know, I just wrote this. It happened in the dream. And I didn't get it. You see how it is. Your kingdom spouse is usually not someone you can guess. You will be surprised. A lot of people are surprised and shocked when they realize who their kingdom spouse is. And perhaps the first thing would be denial. Okay. Now, I, I didn't recognize him. Now, after this prayer, after this dream, somehow I got a new energy to pray. And I started to pray more like, Father, please reveal to me who my kingdom spouse is. And then three, less than a week. Uh -uh. It's less than a week. I had a second dream. In the second dream, I dreamt there was a race. And your girl took this race very seriously. Like, I came in with my backpack, with my school bag. I had my my, my purse. Uh, you know, all, 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 all the things that I felt like I was going to need. I had my purse. I had my glasses. I had uh, uh, you, you, my, 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 my pens. I had my diary. I had my charger, I had my torch. Girl, I was prepared. I even had some fruits because I was not planning on, on stopping to eat. I had some water, some bottled water in the bag. You know, I was prepared. Your girl was prepared. I even had, I remember there was even a jacket that I had put inside the, the, the school bag. Now, in this race, um, first of all, we arrived early in the morning. Um, but as we arrived, I realized that a lot of people were not even there. I mean, the, the guy was explaining the obstacle course. It was an obstacle course. Like, this is what you have to go through. This is what you have to go through. And the guy was busy explaining. Now, I will not explain the obstacle, uh, the obstacle courses because um, the Lord um, was kind enough to help me to interpret what those obstacles, obstacle courses meant to me. But for the sake of the of the topic we'll just uh stick yeah let's just stick to the topic but then i realized that a lot of people were not serious like people came in late and uh, apparently the people came in late because the people that booked themselves in lodges in b and b's in hotels motels i'm like thinking i didn't even book myself in anything i mean i thought you're gonna <laughs> guys uh, how can you be in a race and then check out and go home like I, I was I was I was ready for me I was going to run the race without a break but by then I didn't yet know that the people had booked themselves all I knew was that the people were busy doing this and this and that I was actually very focused on the race I only got to find out that information later I'll tell you how when I get there now they explain how the race works the way people were so not serious about the race when the race started not everyone was even there to start but like with those that were there, we started running. I was serious. Your girl was serious. I was making it through the first obstacle course, the second obstacle course, third obstacle course. I remember after doing the third obstacle course, I was running and I saw a quad bike. And I saw it from afar and I took off my backpack or my school bag, as we call it here in South Africa. I took it and I threw it in the quad bike. And then I jumped in. Um... And then I, I started to drive, okay? And I was going at high speed, maximum speed. Like I was speeding because the road was, was, was just pretty much straight. I did not have to worry about the curves. So the girls went full force. I went in. 
I had uh, that adrenaline rush and it was safe because it was basically straight. Um, so now, as I was going, I had a feeling of being watched. It was a weird feeling, but I kept on going on. And after a while, I realized that I was being watched. I, I, had, I, I had an understanding that there were cameras that were on me. Like people could see me, people, people could see me, people could hear me. And I was on blast. I was seen online. I was seen on TV. It was like an, an amazing, an amazing race sort of a show. But funny enough, I didn't know that. I, it was something I figured out just in the middle of the race. And I was extremely uncomfortable. And I remember um, I just said, I just said to myself, go just focus on the race. And I started to focus. And besides, I got tired. I got tired of, you know, of minding the cameras and the people at home. Like, uh-uh, I got tired. I just became myself and I just didn't care. Now, as I was going, I remember I realized that now I'm starting to win. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in first position. And as I was going, as I was uh, running my race, driving through uh, this, this empty, spacious land, I remember thinking to myself, people I grew up with are looking at me and they're proud of me. People who know me are like, girl, you, you're representing. And I'm so proud of myself. And then I saw a mall, a very big mall, and I parked my quad bike at the, at the parking, took my school back, and I started to run into the mall. I hadn't eaten for a while. I just wanted a coffee. Now it was in the morning. Your girl didn't even sleep. I was, I, 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 I just made it through the night and I was tired, but I just wanted a, a cup of coffee. I knew that I was almost done with the race and I could sleep and do everything I want at the end of the race. Amen. Okay, so now I go to the mall. I enter the mall. Um, I want coffee. Then the next scene, I just see myself holding a cup of coffee. And I'm drinking this coffee even as I walk. And it was in the morning. A lot of shops are closed and there are very few people. And as I'm walking, I'm in the mall. I heard I used the mall to cross over to the other side. It was just part of the, of the route. I think it was done on purpose for us to be able to get snacks, water, whatever we may need for the, for the race. Now, as, as, I, as I'm busy walking through the mall, I heard through the intercom that I heard Maria, Maria, there's a guest here to see you. There's a guest here to see you. And it was repeated again. And I remember thinking, oh my word, who is this person Who's, who wants to see me in the middle of the race? It was another reminder that, girl, you're not alone. The people, there are people watching you, and I'm, I'm not just running the race alone. I remember thinking, who is this person? Who, who, who comes to interact me in the middle of the race? I'm like, I want to see this person. Like, who is this person who couldn't even wait for my race to end? Who wants to see me? And I remember thinking, okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of the mall. Like, where do I go? Like, how do I find this person? They didn't say where the person is. And as I stood there, I'm like, girl, be smart. Think about this. And I'm like, people know where I am. They can see me at home right now. And these people, they're able to get a message across to me. They know where I am. So it means for him to find me, I must just stand still because people see me and I don't see them. Let me stand still. He'll find me. And that's what I did. I actually stood still. And then he came. And I saw this guy. I remember thinking, who is this? It's a guy. Now, who is this? I looked at this person. I'm like, I really don't know this person. I was not wearing glasses. I wished I could just uh, just get glasses and just wear them. But I was busy drinking coffee. And I didn't want to go through the hustle. And as he was coming closer, um, I realized that, oh, wow, this is actually a good-looking guy. Like, that's a fine brother. Okay? And then he came closer, and I looked away. By the time he was close to me, I looked up. It's Q. Like, I'm like, what? Q? Like, this is a guy I grew up with. Like, we. Is it, this is a guy I grew up with. Like, I knew this guy since I was uh, I was nine. Um, he was my brother's friend. Like, I pretty much grew up in front of him. So, I was surprised to see him. It was like, hey, two decades long. And we're busy hugging and talking and catching up everything. Um, and thereafter, then, then, then my, my mind started playing tricks on me. 
Then my mind was like, is this my boyfriend? Is it not my boyfriend? Is he my boyfriend? Is he not my boyfriend? And I remember him standing back to look at me um, as he began to talk. Then I heard the scripture that says, I heard it so clearly as if someone spoke it. Um, I could hear it clearly. It was not from here. I heard it clearly, but I know he didn't hear it. It says, he that findeth a wife findeth a good thing. And I was like, what? Then it clicked like this is my kingdom spouse. Like, guys, I, I was in shock. Like, I'm looking at him and he's busy talking. He's laughing. He's smiling. I'm looking at him like, oh, my word. Like, I was going through a lot. I mean, I, I, I was appreciating the fact like, okay, it's a good looking brother, everything. But he's my kingdom spouse too. Like, it's, it's a lot. Like, I needed time to to digest this okay i was in shock because i know this person i know this man okay so that's how i knew so i woke up in the morning i'd forgotten that i actually dreamt the, the this dream and after a while it clicked and i was like oh my word i was like oh my word oh my word i dreamt q so he's the one this explains why he was on the first dream the Lord told me, but yours truly, I was in denial or what was happening. I blocked it out. And the Lord was like, mm -mm. I'm going to give her the second dream and it will be clear. Something that she cannot um, deny. She cannot misunderstand. And I was thinking, okay, it is what it is. It is what it is. I needed time to get used to this. It was a lot. And I started to follow on. Uh, more YouTube videos on this to understand like what how do you know for sure like it's not possible No, he's not the one like it can't be Like he's good looking and everything. Don't get me wrong. He's a fine brother But like he's not the the kind like he's not my type the kind the type I would have dated And I also thought to myself. I'm probably not um, the type he has dated either Like how how does this work? You know it was then that I was able to come across videos that said that um, some couples will be, a lot of couples will be opposites, actually. And I'm like, okay. Well, I am an introvert and he's an extrovert. So, like, yes. But I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I couldn't, I couldn't understand why the Lord, I, I didn't get it. I just didn't get it. You have to understand, it's got nothing to do with, like, he's a fine brother. But I, I still, I still didn't get it. Okay, now I started to just keep praying on it, you know, and waiting for more confirmations and everything. Um, and then time went on, time went on. Um, I think I got one or two more dreams afterwards. Um, and then I decided to look him up on social media. And I started to look him up. I couldn't find him. I gave up. A week or two later, I came back with new energy. I looked for him and I found him. I was like, oh, there you are. And I started to look at the pictures, how he looks now. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I looked at him. I'm like, I don't think I'm his type. I don't think I'm the type he would date. And because he's not the, the, the kind of guys I'm used to. He's, 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 he's got his own vibe. But yeah. It's not what I'm used to. And I decided one day, like, I should just say hi, you know? And I did. I reached out to him and I said, hello. I was not reaching out to say, hey, you know, the Lord did tell me that you're my man. And I just wanted you to know that I can see the future in an instant. No, I didn't do that. Um, I just said, hi. Like, how are you doing? Like, wow, you have grown, you know, and all of that. Just that small talk. And she's like, hey, Maria, oh my word, it's been a long time. Like, this guy is the sweetest. He's like, oh, wow, my goodness. It's like, um, you are as beautiful as I remember you. Like, that, that compliment by itself, it, it literally blew me away. Literally, I, I'm usually confident, but your girl, I was second guessing myself. I was typing, deleting it was a mess. It was a hot mess. I don't know what nonsense I wrote after that. All I knew was that I had to go. I think it was one of the most awkward conversations I've ever had. 
and I kept thinking he must think I'm a weirdo because like no and I was like oh but he likes me like at least I, I, I'm working on something I feel like the Lord was helping to also build my faith you know it, th that little that that compliment it went a long way it gave me something to hold on to the Lord knows us the Lord understands us and the Lord will give each of us something to hold on according to our faith okay I know that there's there's women who have testified and men too said that they reached out to their kingdom spouses and the kingdom spouses um, rejected them and I think that is really sad but I was encouraged by this other youtuber who said that her 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 kingdom spouse rejected her but she's still holding on and she's still standing and even though she's just standing by a threat she's still standing like I I, I felt so encouraged with this roller coaster ride with me and my kingdom spouse just hearing people like that it just it's, it's very encouraging to me I do not know how I was going to handle it but all I know is that the Lord will, the Lord always gives us strength like if it was um, happening to me if it was my cross to bear if my situation was like that the Lord was going to give me the strength to hold on that's what I choose to believe okay um, and for those of you who do not know who your kingdom spouse is, maybe you want to chill a little bit because you do not know how the person is going to react. You do not know if the person will be welcoming and there will be a mutual attraction and you do not know if the person is going to reject you. Sometimes another, another person is just initially attracted to the other one while another one isn't. You know, sometimes just, yeah, it is what it is, guys. So now... After reaching out to him, I felt like, uh, like I said, I was, uh, I was, I find my, I, I was shocked by how I reacted. And I knew, like, I was not going to make a fool of myself and I was going to stay clear of this man. I was going to, I, I, you can say I ran away. You could call it that. And thank God he left me alone. He didn't try to reach out. He literally just left me alone. I needed him to leave me alone. So can this be also a, um, an encouragement or enlighten someone that you can reach out to your kingdom spouse and you might find that there is an attraction but if you try to pursue them further it's as if it's as if you are like pushing them far so as much as I was attracted to my kingdom spouse I, I had to go <laughs> I had to in fact I had to run like I was not running because the attraction wasn't there I didn't, under, I didn't understand what was going on. Why, why, why? Like, who is he? Who is he to just come in and, and just melt my feet? Like, I was weak at the knees. Your girl was stuttering. Your girl was overthinking. Uh-uh. No. I, I, I was shook. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a understand, guys. Like, it's, you do not know the impact you have on your kingdom spouse. So, when you come on to already, just your presence, you are a force to be reckoned with. Do not... Please do not, oh my gosh, you're, you're already a force to be reckoned with. Too much of you is just too much. It's just too, too, too much. All he did was to give me a compliment, just a compliment. And your girl was out, I was running. And someone else might be like, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I just complimented her. Like, it's what? There's nothing inappropriate that I said. Of course, it's nothing. He said everything right. He blew me away, like I said, like literally. <laughs> He, literally i was gone but i was touched like i said like i think he's the sweetest but i ran now someone may say okay i understand so let's say well um they're feeling my presence so now that they're feeling my presence how long until i can be in the person's space you just need to hey guys it took me almost a year and remember i'm the one who the i'm the believing spouse the lord revealed to me but it took me almost a year a year for me to reach out that's how long it took so just try to be patient and understand that you are the kingdom spouse no one else is gonna compete with you for that spouse for that spot and your kingdom spouse may not tell you but there is a there is a presence that you carry even if it's just in 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 the words that you say like you can just say hi 
to you is just a hi to that person. Like, it's not the first time I've received a compliment. But to hear the compliment come from him, like I said, I'm usually confident and I, I felt out of place. Now, this is me communicating with him on social media. How much more if it was in person? Guys, like, whoa, like, guys, let, ooh, let the other children breathe. Like, let, 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 let the child breathe. Like, yo, guys, let your kingdom spouse breathe. Just understand that you are a force to be reckoned with and just whether the love is reciprocated or whether the, the, the attraction is mutual or not, just understand that your presence is a lot. In fact, I feel sorry for anyone whose kingdom spouse initially um, approaches them in person. That's too much. That's too much. That's too, too, too much. Me, the believing spouse, reached out to a prodigal and the prodigal's presence literally blew me away. I don't know how else to say this. Okay. So now, after this, I decided I'm just going to keep praying. And I was listening to more YouTube videos, learning on uh, what to do, what not to do, what I should be doing in my, in my waiting, you know. I was, I was just going on listening to other testimonies as parts of my um, journey. And the Lord was kind, the Lord was good. Because as I'm speaking to you, I probably have almost 50 dreams of the man since 2020 till, till today, till this day. So the Lord reveals again and again different things, different things. So um, I was only able to, to speak again with the guy when it was uh, almost a year later. And why did it take me that long? Well, I thought he was a sweet guy and everything. Now I'm still working this journey with the Lord. Um, and I'm on my own spiritual journey. He's not the journey. He's just part of it. So I was also just on my spiritual journey. And then he was just another branch, you could say. And that I was trying to, to figure my way around. Okay. So now I was just now looking at, at, um, Okay, okay, now I'm losing, I'm losing trail of my thoughts. Um, so now I've reached out. Oh, it was only almost a year before I was able to, 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 to speak to him. Oh, during that time, what was happening? I went through a lot of things during that time. So when the Lord has revealed to you who your spouse is, or let me see it this way. If the... Your, or oh, yeah, if your kingdom spouse has found out who you are, or you have told your kingdom spouse who you are to them, there is a a a, a see there, there is there is a lot that happens. There is a lot. But now I looked at my kingdoms. I started to stalk him. Yeah, and I was going through the things he is supposed to try to try and understand what kind of a person he is, what he likes, what he doesn't like, how far is he spiritually, and I was shocked to realize that. I am, I am far ahead spiritually and I, I was surprised like why would the Lord choose someone like this I am very conservative he's very liberal um I'm from a Christian home like I don't cuss he does <laughs> and freely so I didn't understand why the Lord would choose him for me and I prayed and I and I remember I started going through a, a, a period of depression and I thought the Lord was punishing me. I felt that the Lord was punishing me. Like so, it, so now I learned that my my ex husband is not my kingdom spouse. So I felt that the Lord was punishing me for not being obedient to Him the first time round. Had I been obedient, I would have gotten, um, I would have gotten someone else who's who's like uh, who's like deep in the Lord, deep in the Word, all about purpose all about saving the Lord and everything because I did not understand exactly what a kingdom spouse is. I did not understand that a kingdom spouse is a spouse the Lord creates. Like it, it, it's, it's part of your book of life. It is written before you were born that this is your kingdom spouse, but I didn't know that. I thought that um, because I do wrong, then the Lord will, will, will look and see who's, who's available, whom the Lord can give me. And I felt that the Lord was punishing me I thought maybe the Lord was angry with me and that I had sinned and I'm going, you know, 
I, I went through all this. Like I was throwing a tantrum. Like I was literally throwing a tantrum. So a lot of people, when they find out who their kingdom spouse is, they, they, drew, they do throw a tantrum. Just that I'm honest and I'm open. The reason I can tell my story like this is because I hadn't met him. When I met him, remember I said in the dream, in the race dream, when I saw him, I said, that's a fine brother. I should have known, I should have figured it out that when I see him, I will, I will, I will get the essence of who he really is. And that essence of who he is, it is not captured in the pictures, but I hadn't yet figured it out. I just thought that the Lord just took whoever that was there and the Lord was like, here, just take. He's coming. I don't know if he's going to be saved or not, but just here, here. He knows me. At least he knows me. Yeah, he, I could see he knows the Lord, but I could also tell that he does not walk, walk very closely with the Lord. And I felt that the Lord was, was punishing me. So I remember going through all that. So I threw a tantrum. I feel so embarrassed right now that I did that. And a lot of us are spoiled brats in that I threw a tantrum. And I know that a lot of women have and a lot of men have thrown a tantrum because a lot of us, we did not choose our spouse. It's actually the Lord who's chosen our spouses for us. You know, some you the Lord will choose someone of a different race, um, someone of a different culture, a different language. Like the the, the wow. God is God, he's got no boundaries. He is the boundary mark, okay? And he just it's already done. It's already written. It's not like it's going to change anything. I mean, I just sat there and I thought to myself, like, how did God even come to this conclusion? But after I threw the tantrum and all of that, I began to accept. And I said, you know what? He may not be what I thought he would be. It's not what I ex expected. But if I carry this man's rib, then, I mean, he's, he's a part of me. There's a part of me walking around, like, um... In spite of me um, having, thrown th having thrown tantrums, I started having the genuine love and care for the man. Um, I started to care. I said, the more I prayed for him, the more love was birthed. Yes, love. Love was birthed. Okay? The kind of love that um, he didn't have to do anything to deserve. It's just the love that's just there. It's like the love of the Lord. I just had the love because I was just praying on him, praying for him. Through dreams, the Lord revealed to me that he's got two children. And I was praying, although the Lord did not reveal whether the child, the children are uh, the genders of the children. I just knew he had two children. And the Lord was showing uh, me what was up ahead. And I saw us on vacation with, with him and he had brought two kids. That's how I knew he had two kids. And the Lord was revealing things to me. And th 